so you have a, a clothing brand, Bored, uh, Bored Teenager. Teenage. It's called Teenage? Yes. Bored Teenage or Teenage? Teenage. And the, the website is BoredTeenager.com. Teenage is, the, and it's a clothing brand that you started. Yes, sir. And this is, is this, do you consider this, is this like a side hustle? Is this a, a brand that you're trying to build into something? Have you built it to something that you're happy with yet? Because uh, it seems successful. Yeah, it's successful to, uh, yeah, it's kind of, it, it always has been sort of a side project. It's just, uh, uh, it's a cool creative outlet. Do you, do you have like uh, inventory at your house? Do you have people working for you? Um, I, I mean, when we started like ground up, I was everything. Yeah, uh -huh. I was storing it at my home. I was mailing it out, all of that stuff. But um, now, no, I, yeah, I, we have like a ware a shipping warehouse and all that. Do you have any advice for somebody who's you know I'm still direct to garment? I've recently my my merchandise sales have been doing well enough to where I'm con yeah. I'm considering I'm considering like uh, getting inventory and not doing the direct to garment approach anymore, so it doesn't smell like paint. But you wash in cold water, it'll be fine. And to be fair, I don't even notice it anymore. The right, the smell of paint it goes away. Also, if it's been outside, I just open the bag right before. But uh. you, if you smell it, you'll, you'll you'll smell a little paint. But do you have any advice to me, but also to people at home listening who want to start a brand, what it takes to start a brand? Uh, I mean, there's the designing and there's the business side of it. Where do you thrive? Uh, you know, probably the designing aspect of it, but it definitely takes risk, startup cash for sure. What kind of know, cake did you put into it? Uh, not too much. I made everything back. I never, like, lost. What's the, the, is the initial investment the, the design or is it the, the inventory? Nah, if you have like a, an artist homie, you can get a, a design done for, you know, relatively reasonable price. But as you know, with like production and garments, maybe you don't know this, but the more, I know, I've been, yeah, yeah, you're, you're a smart guy. We just play idiots, right? <laughs> but you, the more garments you buy, the lower the prices, you know? So yeah. like, but the last thing you would want is to be sitting on boxes and boxes of merch because if you don't sell it, then you're not making anything back. As Dave Grohl says, one of my favorite shows is Shark Tank. And though I went to business school, I am constantly reinforced that one of the deaths of retail is inventory. And sure. that's why you want to minimize as many SKUs as possible. But when you have shirts, one shirt has at least five SKUs because of sizes. So where do you decide these are our top sellers or have you decided to put in enough capital to where you have a lot of different things in different sizes? Uh, well, you know, uh, the brand got s successful enough to where Zoomies, the store Zoomies, like, started to produce our stuff. So they kind of, like, are the ones that do all, like, the sizing and SKUs and stuff like that. So that's not something I really have to wrap my head around anymore. But with, like, exclusive drops that we just do for the website, they the sizes are they sell out now i don't want to put you on the spot so you, you could don't say, i don't okay uh unless you want i'll let you decide would you like to be put on the spot here's if you were here's what i would do <laughs> yeah you said it's not something you could wrap your head around uh -huh. however if i pulled up a beat i wonder if you could try and find a way to wrap your head around it by talking about your shirts and your brand and the art and the style uh, uh, yeah no? I guess I got to hear the beat if the beat's fire. Right. You know what's a bummer? Huh. Uh, I, I rap kind of frequently or do spoken word on this podcast. You do? Yeah. And I'm very, very good. Okay. Uh, and people have sent in samples, stuff that they've taken from this podcast, stuff from the theme song, and then just original stuff. Uh -huh. And I love them. I haven't archived them yet. So I'm just, you know, going to Google, you know, YouTube royalty free beats so you tell your users to send you beats i've never told them to although here i am i'm telling you now to send send beats uh, original beats to take your shoes off podcast at gmail.com but uh, uh but i want to Tyso. i want to be able to use them but now i'm just using royalty free See, ones. if i had the if i had the board i'd be like tight so uh every time you push the tabletop we'll put it in yeah use that tight so <laughs> any of them so so, so you're asking your listeners to send in beats and farts. Yeah. That's but, you know, and also send in like... Uh, nudes. Yeah, send in any, any nudes of Kristen <laughs> Bell you could find. Sick, brother. Daniel's here. You got me on my insurance. Daniel, State Farm offers surprisingly great Oh. 
Uh, uh, hey, I got, a so. I got a question for you, Blake. Blake? That's my name. Blake, uh, you know, I'm, I'm new into the merchandise game, and, and I like to think of my merchandise, and I want to build it this way, not just merchandise for Take Your Shoes Off podcast, but cool swag that people would want to wear even if they didn't know what it was, right? Yes. You have a successful brand called Teenage. Yes, sir. And I, I guess if, if – I'm, I'm having trouble kind of wrapping my head around what it is. Could you maybe help me out? Two, three. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. First off, you gotta get an artist, get them to draw something that. <laughs> you could have said that farted. Farted. I was gonna say farted. I didn't want to go down. <laughs> Tyso. <laughs> I find that medium is the most popular size. Maybe do something with French fries, cause mm. people like. The fast food life, not me, you know. <laughs> I don't yeah. ever want to ever do this at all. <laughs> okay. You, uh, but was... no, you can, you can spit some fire. Tyso. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. They call me captain of the ship because I steer. I got the blue. I got the pink. I got the hottest gear. We talking merchandise swag. Sweaties in enough. But you put it on the top and you touching on that stuff. Okay. Grab my dick. Get some shorts. Get some sweatpants. Some socks. Some cozies. Some mugs. Some dope hats. Now we Hell talking yeah. about shipping problems. $29.95 for shipping, man. Goblins. Yeah. Thanks, Tyso. man. <laughs> Man, Dang. my adrenaline's going. I actually want to, I kind of want to like get into it now, but. Yeah, you are nice. Thanks, man. That's wild. Well, that's wild. Scoot doo. Blabbity blue. Scoot dee. Oh, yeah. <laughs>